Hi, I'm Darren. I'm the art director at Cheeky Little. Today we're going to draw one of our good friends on, on Kangaroo Beach called Neville. Alas, alack, methinks I am faced with certain doom. Bravo. Neville's one of my favourite characters from Kangaroo Beach. He's probably not one of the more active characters who's a little, a little shyer but that gives him more of a presence in the show because he's not the one who's doing what everybody else is doing. Pop, pop, pop. He's always fun to draw. He is basically just a few different shapes together. First off he's mainly a circle for the head. <laughs> I'm trying that again. A circle for the head and then a bit of a, a tubby shape for the body. Try that again. Drawing doesn't have to be perfect every time. You can always go back and rub things out and start again. Um, we're going to give him a nose, a big nose on his face. He's got a little dimple in the middle of it. Neville's a wombat, um, but he's actually an albino wombat. Uh, we did that just to give him some difference from Gemma who's brown and we wanted a different colour for Neville. His mum comes along every now and again and burrows under the ground because they're burrowing nocturnal animals. Um, but they also, very simple circle for a hat, has to wear sun gear because he's albino and he wants to be sun safe. And that's like one of the other points of the show, it's about safety, water safety. Um, but. Even though he's shy, he has a lot of fun on the show all the time with the other characters. Wears a nice little rashy with the Kangaroo Beach logo on it. So nice simple shapes. Very simple little hands, two, three. For the hands, give him a line for a shirt. And then he's got little mushroom shaped legs. And same as the feet. One, two, three. One, two, three for the toes. And there's little Neville. So that's Neville. Very, very clear shapes. Simple. Um, and then once you're done with that, you can go and colour him in. And if you don't like the hat looking through, just rub stuff out. And there's his hat sitting on his head. I draw because that's the way that I communicate to people. Um, I enjoy the process, part of my routine every day, and it um, lets me express myself. I try to draw every day. Um, life gets a bit busy sometimes, but I do have a practice of <laughs> trying to draw every night or every morning or at lunch times. I like to draw characters that are in a story, um, come up with ideas and um, create what's in my brain. Uh, we did a mural at Cheeky that encompasses all the characters that we have in all the shows that we have across the board from Veggie Sores, Kangaroo Beach, Spongo Fuzz and Jalapena and all the other shows that we've had on our slate um, and I wanted to put them all together on one big giant mural. So we took three weeks to paint a whole mural um, along a giant wall. It was lots of fun, really colourful and I think it came out really well. Technology has been really helpful in making um, drawing much easier, especially since we're now in a sort of a digital world, Instagram, posting a lot. But I still, when I get stuck with drawing, I go back to pen and paper, drawing on notepads, um, and I'm also moving into painting recently. Both of them have their pros and cons. Digital is a lot of fun. You get lots of brushes, techniques, colour. Um, everything's a lot easier. But pencil and pen has its place as well. I think everybody has the ability to draw, but people tend to lose that ability when they're a bit young because they think it's not as fun as it could be. Um, but if people kept up the practice, I think everybody could probably draw. Neville! <laughs> 
If you'd like to keep up to date with all of Cheeky Little's uploads, competitions and other exciting news, please register here.